President Moon Jae-in visited the southeastern city of Busan to attend a special ceremony declaring the administration's future vision for the nation's biggest port. He pledged to make Busan a global shipping hub as the country enters an unprecedented transition period at the juncture of the upcoming inter-Korean and North Korea-U.S. summits. Our Chongade correspondent Hwang Ojun reports. With the inter-Korean summit and a summit between Pyongyang and Washington just around the corner is a chance, says President Moon Jae-in, for South Korea to take a leadership role on the world stage. Those remarks were made during President Moon's speech at a special ceremony where he announced his future vision for Busan, South Korea's largest port. If things play out right, he said, Busan can become the bridge between Eurasia to the north and the oceans to the south, all the way to the ASEAN nations and India. And to that end, President Moon pledged that the government will invest in the port of Busan and provide ample support for innovation there, which will ultimately lead to the transformation of Korea's second largest city. Busan the president praised the accomplishment of the port of Busan, which processed more than 400 million tons of cargo last year, making it the world's second largest port of exchange. He said innovation at the port of Busan is the key to the success of the administration's efforts to expand South Korea's diplomatic horizons in Eurasia and Southeast Asia via the new northern and new southern policies. So President Moon pledged to equip the port with fourth industrial revolution technologies, including smart shipping systems and high-speed communications. He also unveiled the government's plan to supersize the port by the year 2030 by increasing the number of berths from the current 21 to 40. That would enable it to handle 30 million containers per year. In addition, the plan calls for the creation of a liquefied natural gas fueling center for ships and a shipyard for vessel repairs, which will create added value and new jobs. President Moon's Friday visit to Busan was the fourth of its kind since his inauguration, which observers say may have been meant to garner support for the ruling Democratic Party in June's local elections. Hwang Ojun, Arirang News.